Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at Canon's latest release, which is the 6D Mark II. Remember, if you like what you see on The Photo Show, please comment, like or subscribe in the boxes below. Let's take a look at Canon's latest camera. So, Canon have announced the release of the 6D Mark II, which, as the name suggests, is replacing the original 6D, which was released about four years ago. Now, the 6D Mark II will be Canon's entry-level, full-frame uh, DSLR camera, and it will sit in the range just below the 5D Mark IV. Canon have made quite a few upgrades on the 6D Mark II, starting with the sensor, which is now a 26.2 megapixel full-frame sensor, over the original 20 megapixel full-frame sensor on the 6D. They've also paired this with their latest Digic 7 processor. Autofocus has also been improved on the 6D Mark II. On the original 6D, you had 11 autofocus points, and on the 6D Mark II, you're going to get 45 autofocus points. It's actually the same autofocus system that's found in the 80D. Thing is, with the 80D being a crop sensor size camera, the autofocus points are spread out right across the viewfinder. But whereas the 6D Mark II is a full frame size camera, the 45 autofocus points are a lot more centrally based on the, on the viewfinder itself, but essentially is the same autofocus system as you'll find on the Canon 80D. ISO range has also been improved on the 6D Mark II, with the native ISO range now being from ISO 100 up to ISO 40,000. It can be expanded from that, but the native ISO range is ISO 100 to ISO 40,000. Shutter speed for the 6D Mark II is a maximum of 1 4,000th of a second, and it's capable of shooting up to 6.5 frames per second, which is up from the 6D's 4 frames per second. Body-wise, the 6D Mark II and the original 6D are very similar. The only difference with the two bodies is the addition of a dedicated AF button on the top of the camera. Apart from that, the form factor and the, the button layout are exactly the same as on the original 6D. The other major improvement on the 6D Mark II is it now has a fully articulating touchscreen. The original 6D had a fixed screen on the, on the back, but now the 6D Mark II has a fully articulated screen so it can be switched around for vlogging or selfie use. So that's a huge improvement over the original camera. The 6D Mark II also has built-in 5-axis image stabilization that can be used for both stills and video. Speaking of video, there was a lot of talk before this camera came out that the 6D Mark II would have 4K capability. Unfortunately, that hasn't proved to be the case, but I think Canon are probably holding back on the 4K for this camera so that it doesn't compete too much with the 5D Mark IV. That said, it will shoot 1080p at up to 60 frames per second, and there is a caveat with the 4K. It will shoot 4K time-lapse films. So you can set it up to shoot time-lapse files and they will be in 4K. But as for video, the video is limited to 1080p at up to 60 frames per second. Storage-wise, the 6D Mark II has a single SD card slot, which is pretty typical in this range of DSLR cameras. But connectivity-wise, they've really thrown everything at the 6D Mark II. It has built-in GPS, Wi-Fi, NFC, and Bluetooth. So you've got a wide range of options there for connecting to external devices. The camera does have an input jack for an external microphone, but there's no output for headphones. So video-wise, you can put in a microphone, but there's no output for uh, monitoring the audio. Price-wise, the 6D Mark II is going to be $1,999 and also £1,999. So the exchange rate seems to be balancing out there somewhere, but 1999 is the number whether you're looking at dollars or pounds on this camera. If you're interested in looking at prices and pre-order options, I've put some links in the description below for you to click and have a look at. So there we go, that concludes our look at Canon's new 6D Mark II, which is released at the end of July 2017. For now, I'm Dave Vickers, this is The Photo Show, thanks for watching, see you next time.